This is a Chinese K40 laser cutter and we just upgraded to a larger one. So this one needs to go into storage, but the laser tube is water cooled with water. So if we're gonna be storing it in an area where it'll drop below freezing. So we don't wanna have any water in that tube. So we're going to drain all the water out. And in this video, I'll show you how to do that. We've always used this laser tube inside where it's warm. We don't have to worry about the water freezing. Now, I've read some articles of people actually using antifreeze, like the coolant in your car, to cool the laser. So that way it won't freeze if you're, say, using this in your garage with no heat. We'll get everything unplugged from this side. This is where we have the fan and some of the other electronics plugged in. We'll disconnect the USB cable. We added a custom fan on the inside here, and I have that wired up to the transformer. So I'm just going to set that in there. And the power plug and we'll pull the fan off. The water lines we have zip tied to the cart that it's sitting on, so I'll snip those off. We have the water reservoir bucket underneath here, and uh, the water's pretty dirty since it hasn't been used in a while. It'd be a good idea to have a lid on your bucket because you always want to run distilled water through the system. The water that's in here, you would never want to run through the system. It needs to be clean, so running distilled water is what you want, and this is not very clean. We'll pull the pump out of the bucket, disconnect the pump, I'll blow in one end to get the rest of the water to evacuate the system. You can see the water moving through the tube. I'll use an air compressor to blow into the line so we can have a bit more pressure blowing it out. You can still see it flowing through the tube. Whenever we tilt it up a bit, I'm not seeing any water accumulation down at the one end, so I think we've gotten all the water out. We've had the air running for maybe about 10 minutes and it stopped dripping. We'll put the tubes through the exhaust outlet so that way there's a place to store them. And I'll go ahead and clean out all the old cardboard circles. A necessary modification that I added was with some regulated shop air. So you can just hook this up and then the air assist comes up and around and then over the gantry here. And then this is the air assist nozzle. I think it's something that's really important to have, especially if you're cutting wood or acrylic. It, it Not only does it keep the fire down, if you don't have the air assist, whenever you're cutting, there's a lot more flame and your cut isn't going to be as clean. But with acrylic, it doesn't let it reflow back together. Once you're done with the cut, it kind of cuts and hardens. So it's a really a necessary modification to have. In the pump, you can definitely hear the water. When you turn it on, there's not really any water that comes out. Most of the stored water is coming out here from the plug. If you have water trapped in the pump, one way to get it out is if you just take a wire that gives the water a path out. So then you can just take it upside down and shake it. And then the water will come right out. Now we can safely store the pump as well. And the K40 is already to store in cold weather now. And the laser here is the one we upgraded to, and you can see it can easily fit in the much larger bed this one has. 